Take a look at what happened in SOTUS, a huge maple tree literally uprooted from the ground. This is on Lake Road at the Cornelius home. Randy and Debbie tell us the tree is at least 200 years old. They're looking at some roof and porch damage. Here's another tree that fell victim to Sandy's strong winds. This picture from Hamlin posted on our Facebook page by Lori Fairley D'Agostino. Jeff sent in video of these pine trees that came crashing down, brushing the house and landing on the porch from a porch to a pool. Patrick Burns will be looking for a swimming pool repairman. That's his neighbor's tree that came down in Greece. And who can forget those waves on Lake Ontario? Mark Ducone snapped this pic yesterday on the Shalott Pier. Officials say waves topped 20 feet last night. The city of Rochester did not escape the damage. The wind was whirling on Amherst Street off Monroe Avenue early this morning. Trees just could not bear the brunt of it. And our own web producer here at News 10 NBC came home to this late last night. A pine tree down in her front yard on Mourncrest Drive in Gates. Luckily, there's no damage to her house, but now she is waiting for a tree service to come out and clean up.